Hi everyone and welcome back to the Steph Zone channel. I'm Steph and if you're joining me for the first time, I am so excited to have you. This week I'm taking a bit of a break from talking about sewing patterns to talking about something even more critical to sewing, which is of course fabric. I'm a sewist who really prides herself on her fabric hunting abilities. And because I'm truly making everything I wear, there's lots of different fabrics I need. I need activewear fabric, swim fabric, coat making fabric, the list goes on and on and on. Over the years, I've really developed my abilities to find really unique pieces at a good price from a really diverse range of suppliers. Despite the whole kind of range of suppliers available though, I go on Instagram or I go to events and I see the same, honestly, five or six fabric shops showing up over and over and over. Now, you know, I'm not hating on any company for being popular. All of those people behind them are incredibly hardworking, um, but there are also still shops which sell online. They're finding amazing things, but maybe they're just not as savvy at social media and they're currently flying under the radar. Those are the shops that I want to highlight today to help you get access to the same amazing finds that I have. If you're not in the UK, don't worry. All of these shops ship worldwide and a lot of them even have really transparent flat rate shipping available to the rest of the world. Don't worry, not all of them are even based in the UK. It was really hard to narrow down which companies to choose from, so I'm going to do a bit of a pick and mix. We have two companies offering general dressmaking fabrics with a slight lean towards designer dead stock, which I love. One company who does lots of wool, tailoring and shirt making supplies and our last two have our technical fabric suppliers, activewear and swimwear. Hopefully that's a bit of a mix that will be good for everyone. None of this is sponsored. I mean, I would save so much money if any of it was sponsored. Hint, hint, go tell them to, you know, throw a little something my way. Um, but really, I just want to support a lot of great businesses. So with that, let's get into it. Here's five fabric stores that you probably don't know about. start, I think it only seems fair to highlight the fabric that I'm wearing right now. I actually finished this shirt two days ago. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. People are loving it on the gram, so I'm very, very excited about it. Um, this incredible uh, Boucher-inspired panel print came from Stitch Fabrics. Stitch Fabrics is a London-based company, and they were actually founded in 1948, so on the older side for the independent fabric shops. And the store is now run by the son of the original owner and his wife, which I think is just fantastic. Where Stitch Fabrics really shines is their ability to source these really unique Italian prints and sell them on at, honestly, surprisingly affordable prices. Um, this print that I'm wearing right now is on a viscose jacquard, but they also have similar painting or painting inspired prints on things like crinkle cotton, silk satin, there's a whole variety there. I actually have another example of a painting print sewn up. This is on the crinkle cotton base and it is inspired by Botticelli's Primavera. You can see here, it's just absolutely lovely. Um, and all I really did was slap an elastic waistband on it. To be honest, a fabric like this doesn't need a bunch of seams cutting it up. Why gild the lily? I'm currently not sewn up, but I'm very excited to use these. I have a print of Van Gogh's Starry Night on silk satin, and I also have a heavier weight silk. I'm not sure what the painting that inspired that print is, but I'm super excited to use it. Beyond the painting prints, they also carry designer dead stock, including um, Emilio Pucci. There's quite a bit of Emilio Pucci jersey on their website right now. I've seen Gucci dead stock pop up there. I was actually at the New Craft House summer party a few weeks ago, and a woman had made this just incredible, beautiful caftan style dress with the Gucci rose print, and she just looked so glamorous. I'll definitely include a photo of that. If designer prints are maybe not your thing, or just given the fact that those are slightly more expensive, it is worth saying that Stitch Fabrics, other fabric ranges are really affordable. For things, they have loads of things like cottons, viscoses, different types of denim. Um, I actually just got some stretch denim from them to make a pair of jeans. And all of that really is in the range of like five to 15 pounds a meter. Um, so definitely something for everyone, especially given that they do discounting and they do have remnants. If you do want to order from them, um, shipping is flat rate, four pounds within the UK. And if you do want to order from abroad or outside of the UK, just shoot them an email and they'll calculate the cheapest way of getting the product to you. Either way, I love their selection. I love that it's a family run business and has stayed a family run business and really, really excited to be calling them out and hopefully encouraging you all to give them more support. Next on the designer train, I want to talk about Selvage & Bolts, also a UK based company. The lovely owner there, Dibs, is also sourcing the majority of her fabrics from Italy and France, and the collection here skews a bit more heavily designer than Stitch Fabrics does even, so you'll see some higher prices on average as a result. It is worth saying though that she does still carry a wide range of more affordable pieces that are very comparable in price to other, at least UK, indie fabric shops. 
Where she really shines, again, is finding really bold, really, really colorful prints. My most recent purchase from Dibs is actually this. This is, again, a viscose jacquard. It's a fabric type I really like. And you can see just these incredible, bold sunset colors. The weight is beautiful. The drape is beautiful. You know, I never saw this fabric pop up anywhere else. She also does pre-orders for some of her really special designer fabrics. And one that I'm absolutely kicking myself over is she had the Dalton Gabbana Snap Peak print from, like, I, th I think it's from like five years ago. Um, and she did a pre-order for it. I was on a, allegedly, I was on a fabric ban at the time, um, which I did a terrible job of the fabric ban, um, but I didn't want to order something designer and I should have just ordered it uh, because now when I see other people have it, I'm like really <laughs> kicking myself. Uh, but yeah, that fabric was like right off of the runway. It's incredible. I don't know how she does it. In addition to all of her fabrics, Dibs also offers a whole range of haberdashery items, which is really convenient, and lots of trims. Um, trims are not something that I'm, that I find very accessible here, especially at good prices. And again, there's lots of designer trims on offer and just a whole range of colors, laces, piping, kind of anything you'd want to really help elevate your garments. Currently, there is a lot out of stock on her website, and this is just based on her Instagram, but I think Selvage and Bolts is uh, taking things a bit slow right now just because Dibs had a recent surgery. So if anything, that's kind of all the more reason to give her a visit and show that shop some love. Now, if really bright prints aren't your thing, then Fabworks Mill Shop might be the shop for you. They have a whole range of different types of fabrics, but where Fabworks really shines is in their wool collection. They carry truly everything. Um, wool tweed that's been woven in England, wool boucle, cashmere wool blends, just any, any kind of coat you want to make, Fabworks has something that will work for you. Um, I actually made my very, very first coat out of Fabworks wool, and I have it here. This is the named pattern. I think it's named. Um, Yona coat and I made it out of this hot pink lambs wool and I'm gonna get a bit close up so you can see it has this gorgeous uh, herringbone pattern woven into it and this coat I've gotten just so much mileage out of the quality has held up very well despite me to be honest not taking care of it in the way that I should I actually let a moth get to it which I'm very very annoyed at myself for um, but yeah has held up well for six years the prices for Fabworks on wool are also really something that I should call out Things like kind of suit weight wools will start at around 12 pounds a meter, but even for the heavier weight wool meltins, the cashmere blends, you're looking at prices in the range of 20 to 30 pounds a meter, which for wool absolutely cannot be beat. In addition to the wool selection, I also love the Fabworks lining collection. All of the coats and jackets that I've made use Fabworks viscose lining, and I just love that they have an option for something that's a little bit more breathable than a standard acetate lining. The linings also come in a whole range of colors, of patterns, and I've actually got the lining for my next coat at the ready. I didn't manage to finish it in time uh, for this winter, just because it got, it got warm quickly and I don't want to make a wool coat right now. Um, but I snatched this up on the website, uh, and you can see here, this. I, I'm pretty sure that this is a Ted Baker dead stock, but it has this really cool chest print. They called it the Queen's Gambit lining, and oh, I just can't wait to make it. I think it's going to look so chic. As if all of the wools and the lining for your coats wasn't enough, Fabworks also has a fantastic selection of shirt making fabrics. Um, there's a wide range of cottons, there's linens, they have a kind of fabric specific linen and ramey collection as well. Really beautiful colors, I found that the fabric washes super well and even cheaper than the wools. As you can imagine that kind of stuff is starting at like kind of the range of five pounds a meter. The only thing that I would not recommend Fabworks for is Jersey. I found that their Jersey selection skews very heavily towards polyester and the descriptions on the website are not massively helpful in kind of determining the weight of the fabric and the amount of stretch. So to be honest, I'd go somewhere else for your jersey, but for wool and for shirt making supplies, Fabworks absolutely cannot be beat. In terms of how to order from them, shipping within the UK is four or five pounds flat rate and for you with orders over a certain size, it's like 60 or 70 pounds. And they also have really transparent flat rate shipping to the rest of the world. That's all on their website. So if you are planning on making coat whenever it's winter in your country or you want to make some shirts for summer. Fabworks is a shop that I would highly recommend. I promised I didn't want to talk about the UK only, so this next shop is actually based in very sunny, very humid Singapore. 
Big and Brave fabrics appeared really randomly in my feed a few years ago, but since then the Owner Kareen has been my go-to source for solid color activewear fabric. Activewear fabric is really hard to get in the UK at the quality that I like. And when I think about quality, I want stuff that's really comparable to the Lululemon that I used to buy. I particularly like her at Yoga Zen Base, or I think it's now called Evolve. I have a few examples of it here in this navy blue and also in this jade green. It's really lovely, very soft, very stretchy. It's held up to lots of hot yoga, to running. I've used it for both um, sports bras and for legging, leggings, and it's washed and worn beautifully. She also has these really unique jacquard athletic fabrics. And here's an example here in this like kind of bright orange, corally color. And I've never seen this fabric for retail anywhere else. Um, I've seen it used for, I think Under Armour does make some shirts out of this, but the grid fabric is really light. It really is wicking and it's perfect for making running shirts. As I pile these fabrics up here in front of me, it makes me think that I probably should also buy some of this in black so I can actually make some coordinating outfits. You can order some of Big and Brave Fabrics' stock online, uh, but it is worth pointing out that she actually tends to run things through pre-orders rather than keeping lots in stock. So the best way to get around that is to join the Facebook group. There's a Big and Brave Fabrics pre-order group, and she does very regular pre-orders for the different athletic fabrics, and it's not like those US kind of custom printing pre-orders where you have to wait for like three months for the turnaround time if you're just ordering the solid colors. It arrives very quickly, usually within a month. Also, all prices on her website are in Singaporean dollars, so don't like get, you know, freak out from sticker shop when you first see things. In terms of shipping, um, because I'm based in the UK, shipping to me from Big and Brave Fabrics is about 25 pounds flat rate. The US is probably similar. I think it's around 30 USD, um, something like that. Um, but because the fabrics themselves are so well priced, to me, to be honest, as long as I order a few meters at a time, that shipping cost is very easily absorbed. I just wait until I can do a big enough order or I split it with a friend. As it is finally summer in the UK, I did want to end with some swimwear fabric. Swim fabric is actually pretty difficult to find here, especially if you're looking for prints that are not either super basic kind of stripes and polka dots, or you're not looking for children's swimwear prints. Um, personally, I don't want a dinosaur print swimsuit, although maybe, you know, maybe someday I'll think about it. The best source I found for printed swim fabric is actually two Etsy companies, Next Lace and Nafil. I'm talking about them together because to be honest, they are kind of listed as two separate companies but they ship from the same place. Um, they seem to have fairly similar designs, similar though not the same. Um, and even some of the product numbers are a bit similar. So I, my guess is that they're being made in the same factory, but again, I have no idea. They have literally hundreds of prints available, all in really on-trend, really vibrant design. Some of the best swimmer prints I found. I've made lots of swimsuits from fabric from both companies already and not only do I get lots of compliments on them which I'm a big fan of um, but they stand up very well to lots of chlorine ocean water being shoved in my suitcase without like lots of consideration given to placing them in there nicely um, so I can't really fault the quality in that sense but I do have two other points I want to make on quality the first is that, again, they're printing on demand. They have like bright white spandex that they're printing the design onto. And the printing quality is not quite the quality that you get from something like Blue Moon Fabrics. They're based out in LA and are a bit more high end, a bit more expensive. Um, this isn't a problem to me, but if you look at some of the prints that are darker, you do get a bit of white show through when the fabric is stretched. Because of that, I personally wouldn't buy from either company a fabric that had like a black background or really dark blue background, just because again, swimwear has so much negative ease that you're really stretching the fabric out when you're wearing it. Secondly, there's some designs that have really strong graphic elements. So thinking about things that don't have like lots of florals all over the place, um, you do have issues sometimes where the print repeat becomes very, very obvious. I have an example of it here to show you. This is a pair of swim bottoms that I made from their fabrics a few years ago. And you can see here it has oranges and leaves on it. I mean, I really love these bottoms. I still wear these all the time. But if you look at those dark green leaves that kind of alternate with the oranges, you can see how it forms almost stripes in the fabric. Personally, for a pair of bottoms, I really don't mind. But if you're making one piece swimsuits and depending again on the scale of the pattern, I personally would just be a little bit careful with something that again will look very, very obvious when it's repeated. For something like this fabric, this floral, or this strawberry print fabric, to be honest, you're not gonna notice the repeat. So just my two words of caution on that. 
in addition to the printed swim fabric, they also carry a whole range of solid, wear, solid swimwear fabric, both like plain nylon spandex, but also ribbed swim, um, like the popcorn swim fabric. It's really cool. Again, very good quality. And they have activewear fabric. Um, the activewear fabric is, again, I've used it quite a bit. I still would probably go to Big and Brave Fabrics as my very first choice, um, but their activewear fabric is still great. It's held up very well. And so if you're doing an order from Next Lace or Nafil anyway, I would definitely recommend throwing some of their wicking fabrics in there. Alongside that, we have to talk about the cost of shipping. This is the one brand where the shipping cost is gonna bite you a bit. Personally, I find that because the cost of the fabrics themselves are pretty inexpensive, especially compared to what I could buy them for here, I can eat the cost of shipping a little bit, but this is absolutely not a shop where I would go to buy like two meters of fabric. It's just not worth it. Um, it's one where you want to be doing like a bigger annual order, make swimsuits for the whole family and all your friends, just get them to pay you to do it. Um, or go in with a friend just to make sure that the cost of shipping doesn't like double the cost of your order. The shipping is really fast though. I've gotten stuff from China to the UK like in under a week before. Um, so again, with, with those caveats aside, would really recommend it. I've had great luck with their products. There are so many other shops that I would love to talk about, but I do want to keep this video to a reasonable length. With that though, let me know down in the comments what you think. Have you purchased from any of these shops before? What are your favorite fabric shops that sell online? Um, I would love to know, especially if any of them are flying under the radar currently. I would also love if any of you would give me a follow over on Instagram. You can also find me at StepZone. It's the same handle I have on YouTube. Uh, but right now it seems like there's not a lot of overlap between my YouTube subscribers and Instagram followers. And if you join me over on Instagram, you'll get to see more of the behind the scenes of my making process. You'll get sneak peeks of all of my projects before I kind of get it together enough to film a roundup video. And it'll just be nice to chat there. And also that'll give me a chance to see what you're working on. With that though, I'm going to leave it there and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. See you hopefully very, very soon. Bye.